Hi, so today we're going to look at how to determine if two logic expressions are equivalent. So we have these two logic expressions, um, and so any two Boolean expressions, or even more, are equivalent if they give you the same truth table, okay? So just for simplicity's sake today, I'm going to actually make two output columns and just reuse the input columns A, B, and C because these expressions use the same um, input variables, okay? So now I have to fill in my truth table. So it's a three input, right? So I have to count from zero to seven. And then the first row is all zeros, right? And so that last digit C is going to alternate zero, one, zero, one. And then B goes zero zero one one zero zero one one like that. And then A goes four zeros and then four ones, right? So the very last line should be one one one, which would be seven. Okay, so we're gonna make that first expression Y one. Um, and now I need to take those terms and enter them in the truth table. So I look right and I look at the term not a b um, and I enter the two ones in the truth table for that. So you can see that then the next term not a not b not c only puts one y in the truth table. And then a not b c makes a single line and A, not B, not C, made a single line. And now we go back and fill in zeros for the rest of the columns. Okay, so now we're gonna call the other one Y2, and I'm just gonna ignore Y1 for now, right? I'm just gonna cover that up because it's like I made two truth tables. So I've gotta do the same step, right? I've got to enter the ones. So not A, B puts a one in two places, right? So, And then when I go to not A, B, C, it's a one in one of the already existing places. Now not A, not B, not C um, puts one in. And then after that, I'll go to the next term. So A, B, not C only made a single one in the truth table. And I enter that. Then I'm gonna enter a one for A, not B, not C in the truth table. And then I'll look at the last term, not A, B, not C. There's already a one there. So I put zeros in the rest of the truth table. Now what I wanna do is go back and compare Y1 and Y2. And if I look at that, I have ones in all the same places. So now I know that the two expressions are equivalent. So I hope this has been helpful. Um, and look forward to seeing you next time.